If you can please help me welcome Roberta Hosky, AKA Miss Millionaire Mindset. We are ladies of virtue, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to be before you today. And I just wanted to talk just for a little bit. And I'm so happy to be able to sponsor such a fabulous event to be one of the sponsors. And if you call on me again, I will be happy to sponsor again and again and again because this is God's work. Amen. Give him some praise. Um, what I want to talk to you about for a little bit is, I, first of all, I need to make sure that we all have a clear thought process. I know there's a lot going on, there's a lot getting here, and we may have a lot going on in our life. But it's important that you hear me, and you hear me very loud and you very clearly. And not just hear me, but apply what I am going to say to you to your life. I want you to understand, we are living in the last days. And in these last days, God wants to pour out extreme prosperity among his people. Yeah, yeah. But you understand, in order for him to give you the promise, we must be in divine position. Not a position, the divine position. Each and every one of us has a divine position that we are supposed to be in at this time in our life. When we are born, we are born with a number of things, but I'm going to talk about two things. Two things. One is your dream, and God has given us gifts. My acronym for dream is a divinely revealed event in your life awaiting manifestation. But the problem is, too many of us have these dreams and these visions and these things that you believe God has told you to manifest, but they get stuck in waiting and they never manifest. What happens between manifest is a waiting, a waiting, a waiting, a waiting. In order to manifest, there requires a mind shift, a mind shift, a mind shift. Change your mind, change who you hang around with. Change how you look at money. Change how you spend money. I know we don't talk about money a lot, but it is real. God does not want us to be broke, busted, and disgusted. We are the head, and we are not the... We are above, and we are not... We are the lender, and we are not the... All right, now we know God's word. Now, now do we apply that word? We are the lenders and not the borrowers, so if we depend on our, our credit card, something is wrong. We need to be in divine position, divine position. Here's the thing. Many of us are on a spiritual cliff, a spiritual cliff in your life. Because you know over this cliff rests everything that God has in store for you. Every dream, every vision, every business, your marriage, your husband, your children. All those things that you're searching God for is right over this cliff, but we stay right here, right here, right here in the safety zone. Safety zone, safety zone. See, in order for you to manifest what God has designed for you to do, you have to leap. 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 But I promise you, if you leap, God will catch you. I'm not saying you ain't gonna get some bruises. And then people are not going to talk about you, not going to have haters. I'm not saying that, but I promise you, he will not let you fall. He will not let you fall. God wants you to be extremely prosperous. And I have nothing against education. I'm all for education. But what God give, gave you, your gift, what is that gift? What is it? Who, what is it? Do you speak to people a certain way? Do you bake? Do you sew? What is that gift? What is that gift that God gave you? What is that gift? What is it? You have to tap into it because that's where your prosperity lies. When you tap into your gift, what is that gift? What is that gift? What is that gift? You gotta tap into it. You have to because that's where your prosperity lies. Nothing against education. Your education is gonna give you to a certain level, but your gift will catapult you to the next level. 
because that is God's design. I'm, and I'm about to say this and I'm gonna sit down. But for the, where's my New Haven? I heard New Haven in the house. It's my people. Born and raised in New Haven. And I, my mom is here and my daughter is here. But listen, I'm born and raised in New Haven in what we used to call the projects and I have no shame in my game. I was pregnant at 17 on welfare and even considered homeless. I used to take buses to see apartments I couldn't afford because my salary was $417 a month. Today, I am a serial entrepreneur. I was able to sponsor this conference. I own Outreach Realty Servicing, Outreach School of Real Estate, RH Development, and recently launched a faith-based wealth creation company, which is called Miss Millionaire Mindset Seminars and Academy. So don't you tell me you can't make your gift work for you. Don't you tell me you got too much stacked against you. Don't you tell me you can't afford this. You can't afford to stay on the cliff. You better jump off, baby. requires extreme faith. Extreme, not crazy faith. Jump off, let him, get some bumps and bruises. It's all in the name of the Lord. Amen. We have to stop pleading God's promises and ignoring his principles. Stop it. Stop it. pleading his promises and ignoring his principles. He said his promise, he would give us the desires of our heart. That's his promise. But understand the principles that faith without work is what? Yeah. So if you ain't working, baby, what you expect to get? Oh. Woo. There it is. Stop asking God to move and you sitting on the couch. Yeah. There it is. It requires work. It requires work. It requires work. I'm a baby. Where, where God is bringing me. But I'm so honored to be here. Amen. But I pray over your life, I decree and I declare that God ignites those dreams and those visions and allow you to match it so that you can release multiple streams of income and find your prosperity in these last days. That's right.